Yo, what is up everybody? Today is just gonna be a short little video about the new update in Fish, okay? Now, this update is literally insane. If you got early to this update, like you joined when it was just coming out, you literally can become a pro in like two hours. You can like instantly get the Trident Rod, okay? This is a crazy update, all right? So, I'm just gonna go over everything that happened in this update, so let's get straight into it. All right, so starting with the main thing, this is the biggest part around the update. It is a whole new island, okay? This island is called the Forsaken Shores, okay? Now, there's one fish on this island in particular that when this update came out, it literally gave you so much money. And that is a mythic, okay? If we go over to Forsaken Shores right now, I'll show you. All right, and as you can see right here, we are at the beautiful Forsaken Shores. This place actually does look really cool. Um, it's like a pirate theme almost. It's really nice. But basically, right here, this is where a bunch of new fishes are. If you go in the bestiary, we can see it is right here, okay? You can see a bunch of new fishes. Okay, well, maybe not a bunch. You only got like 11, but it's okay. But yeah, so I only have been fishing in the pond, okay? Because the pond is the most OP thing. For this Captain Goldfish, this is also a new update. This pond right here, which they call the Forsaken Shores Pond, or the Forsaken Pond, okay? Basically, you can fish here and get the Captain Goldfishes, which, when the update first came out, they were so good. They gave you like 6,000 each, and they were so easy to get. So people were spamming four times Lux, Auroras, and all those things, and you can get infinite. I got up to like 300,000 coins, okay? And there was also a new rod called the Sunken Rod, which I do not have. I haven't tried to get it, but basically, supposedly how you get it is you find a shipwreck of some sorts, and you find a treasure chest in that shipwreck, and inside of there will be the Sunken Rod. I do not know if it costs money or not, but that is it, and... The stats on there are pretty good. They're not the best rod, like trident rod, rod type, but they are pretty good. So if you're a newer player, that sunken rod might be for you. And yeah, there are three new NPCs. There is one hiding somewhere. You're gonna have to find that one yourselves. But also, if you go into the shop right here, you can see that there are limited bobbers, okay? So you can get these new bobbers. They all have unique sound effects and everything okay like the ocean king the pirate hat and mermaid's pearl so those go at the end of your fishing rod when you cast okay which is very cool all right and if you look in the shop one more time they also added that you can gift game passes to people which is really cool so if you're ever feeling nice or your friend has a bajillion robux and they want to give you a game pass they can now do that and also, if you've been fishing in this new update, you might have noticed that there are three new mutations. You can now get nuclear fishes, hex fishes, and sunken fishes. So if you ever get any of those, those are worth a pretty good amount. And if you've been fishing, you might have gotten lucky and caught a treasure map, okay? And that treasure map leads you to the treasure chest of the sunken rod. There's a new nuke event also, so while you're fishing, you can pick up nukes and de detonate waters near you, which is really cool. That is all of the update changes. Now, let's get into the bug changes. They fixed several issues with the bestiary, okay? There was a couple issues. I don't know if you ever saw them, but they did fix those. And a big one, they nerfed the price of sea mines. Those, those literally used to be, like... They were so easy to get, and you could make bajillions of money. No joke, okay? It was insane, okay? Um, they fixed ca crab cages being able to excessively stack using the dis the client desync glitch. I don't know if you've ever tried that one. But yeah, you used to be able to get so much crab cages. It was crazy. They fixed a couple dupes, and they made the FPS and just lag in general better. But yeah, that is everything with this new update in Fish. Comment down below your opinions on this update. Personally, I really like it, and since I was someone to get here early, I did get pretty OP, but yeah. Uh, make sure you comment that below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, but anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!